अरे वाह 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 हाल कैसा है जनाब का क्या विचार है आपका हैप्पी न्यू ईयर मैम हैप्पी न्यू ईयर अगर क्या हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू आप आपके व्यूअर्स एंड लिसनर्स को यस यस टू ऑल आवर ऑडियंस यस मैम सो क्या विचार है आज आपका मेरा विचार ये है कि आज आहार विहार आचार विचार का सीरीज लेट्स कंप्लीट इट परफेक्ट मैम सो बिफोर वी गो इनटू द फाइनल pillar of lifestyle management which is vichar is it possible for us to just quickly go through a revision of all three yeah, sure, and then sure. go into sure, this sure. that's a brilliant idea so yes. the first three that we talked about already are aahar vihar and aachar okay. and a quick uh, explanation on what they are aahar is food diet nutrition related issues vihar is relaxation and recreation and aachar is healthy routines and discipline and finally today we talk about vichar vichar is one of the trickiest parts because uh, it's not tangibly visible yes it's correct it's constantly on and on and on and on even when we are asleep our thoughts are playing they are having their own game yes. but most people are not aware of what's happening and how it's affecting our lives so mm. it becomes even more important to look after our thoughts now everybody okay. knows that we need to have positive thoughts right we need to be positive right right the question is how <laughs> yeah Yes. Yes. you will never come across uh, a person who has to sit and think and plan and decide that today let's get angry mm-hmm. or let's get irritated at someone or today i should sit and feel jealous or mm-hmm. today i should sit and worry about my future or something mm-hmm. all these negativities they come on their own we don't have to put in any effort clashes yeah and you see what happens is uh, uh, they just come and take over your present moment correct yes they do everybody knows that we need to be positive and yet we allow these negativity to live rent free in our mind mind <laughs> yeah so what are we going to do about it so mm-hmm. i'll tell you one interesting story that hansa ji always tells us and it's one of my top favorite stories Uh, she tells us about this man who once found a little piglet mm. on the streets okay mm. suwar ka chhota sa bachcha mm. this man found it very cute so he brought the piglet home he gave it a nice wash cleaned it up nicely sprayed mm. perfume combed its hair put a nice bow tie made it very cute looking very fragrant everything so cute about that little piglet But the moment he left the piglet, where did the piglet go? Went to the dirty place. Yeah, somewhere. went yeah. to went to filth again, right? Hey, mm-hmm. And then he had to repeat the entire procedure. But the moment he left the piglet unattended, again back to filth. filth. Yeah. Yeah. This is what happens to our mind. It keeps mm-hmm. going to negativity. If you want the mind to remain positive. only you can do this you will have to pick it up clean it up bring it back. yeah bring it back to positivity only we can do it for ourselves nobody else so mm. then what are we going to do sit and just check our thoughts that was a positive thought that was negative positive negative positive negative is that what you are going to do the whole day oh my god it's no it's not possible yeah. <laughs> it's not humanly possible so what are yes. we going to do Okay, we may not be able to monitor every possible thought that crosses our mind, but mm. I'm sure it's possible to check how we are feeling. Mm. Yes, right? it's yes. almost impossible to feel happy while you are having negative thoughts. It's a very bad feeling. It's a very dark feeling. Very depressing. Yeah, yeah. restless. Very restless. Yes. Act. Uske liye actually in Hindi mein there is a very nice word, bechain. I I personally <laughs> feel uh, restless probably doesn't have the same punch as bechain. Impact. 
<laughs> yeah, it doesn't have the same impact. Anyway, but yeah, restlessness, that bechani, yeah, mm-hmm. which we I don't think any of us like, and we would mm-hmm. rather be in a peaceful, happy, joyful state. Yeah, correct. So the moment we realize we are not happy, mm-hmm. the moment we realize we are under stress, we have mm-hmm. to bring the piglet back, clean it up, wash it, perfume, comb its hair, whatever, make sure that it is. back in positivity and only we can do it for ourselves nobody is i'll tie it also ah <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> i'll tie the pig and keep it ah uh, i remember when i was in college where this incident uh, took place with one of the psychology professor so he came to this classroom where there were some 150 students sitting and some uh, huge blackboard behind mm. and he came and he uh, stuck a piece of paper a sheet of paper on that okay. board Mm-hmm. and he asked the students what do you see and all mm-hmm. the students said uh, there's a black dot there so he said what do you see black dot are you sure black dot everybody and they were like you cannot fool us father we can see you put a black dot there and this and that and so on and so forth when everybody was sure he asked don't you see the white paper mm. <laughs> This is how we have become. Everything is fine. We don't care. One little thing going wrong, and we crib, crib, crib. So, so cool. we've habitually got into this uh, practice of looking for what is not all right. Can we yeah. instead count our blessings? Mm-hmm. And today, being first of Jan of a new year, I would like all of us. to start a brilliant simple little technique that i learned at the yoga institute mm-hmm. and it's called writing down 10 positive things that happened today so wow. when you go off to sleep at night <laughs> maintain a little book a little diary a little journal if you like keep it yes. by your bedside mm-hmm. and just before you go off to sleep write down what all good things happen today they can be really small little things they don't mm. have to be uh, getting a promotion and you know going for a world tour or they don't have to be that Not huge yeah yeah small little things that brought you joy today small mm. little positive things that happen today and when you make this a conscious habit and when mm. you sleep with these positive thoughts you will wake up happier Mm-hmm. yeah and that happiness will then spread through your day and everybody else who comes in contact with you throughout the day uh, viewers listeners our lovely audience please ensure that you do this with me and do let us know how you feel after a week what is your yes. experience like do share it with ma'am do share it with us so that we know that somewhere we are connected absolutely so much more fun when we get uh, suggestions from people that they would like to know more about this topic and that topic and uh, i look forward to so many more of our conversations and i know you are now going to be introducing one more guest in this series a person who is one of my top favorites i've been working with for more than a decade now a true perfectionist uh, one of the most amazing people you will ever come across and amit would you want me to disclose the name already or you want to keep it a secret um ma'am how about we keep it a secret together and okay. uh, give it away the next episode already we must tell our viewers and listeners that this guest is a very important guest because she is related to dance and if you're a dancer if you want to be a dancer if you want to choose profession as a dancer then the upcoming episodes which are going to be with the new guest are going to be really interesting for you she is a key member in the Terence Lewis contemporary dance company so guess and let me know if you already know the answer or you ask questions related to dance but until then you take care and Stay amazing and very happy 2021 to everybody. Yes. Bye.